Welcome back to this series of tutorials where we are building a Uber clone in React Native and Node.js. So we're going to continue from where we stopped in the previous videos. And for those who have been following, if I can open the screens that you have built so far, um, you know that we've built all this, the first screens here. We have also begun building, we've built this one as well, as well as this. And we also did build half of this one, as well as we are currently on this. So we did build these two uh, markers, so we can put the pickup location or the origin, as well as the drop-off location or the destination. So we are able to render those and we've been also able to create the google place autocomplete and we are able to search for places and get suggestions from google and translate those places to coordinate which we can be able to display on the map and today we're going to continue from where we left we're going to create the route we're going to create the uh, estimated time of arrival or we're going to create a travel time which you can see in the right hand corner here in this uh, display in this screen here so going to create that we're also going to create calculate the distance get the distance data all this we're getting them from google apis and we'll be able to display that and we're going to create also this bottom sheet where you can see the prices and cars and we're also going to create the bottom sheet which is on this display here which shows your your history location so these are the history places where you have uh, been taken to in the past so we're going to create those two so meaning by the end of this video today we will be done with all these screens that you are seeing right now on this presentation and and then finally we will be left only with these two screens to complete so this will be the confirmation screen which confirm your pickup location and the driver's information as well as your your request information like prices cars and all those payment method and finally we will create the the riding which shows your your path as well as the moving car you can see where the case is you can see the moving car so this will be the last video uh, when it, uh, in terms of the UI and I think we might also have to implement the authentication we will implement the authentication as well but uh, yeah for now um, I think there might be some people who are joining us for the first time some people might be viewing this video for the very first time so let me rather give also a quick demonstration for those who are joining uh, just in these tutorials so if you have been watching already you know what we're building so you might want to check the chapters and skip this two minutes of demonstration but otherwise it's not a long time it's not gonna take more than two minutes or one minute actually just for me to demonstrate for those who are joining for the very first time in this series of tutorials as I said, we're going to be building all this project with React Native and Expo. And it's a complete Uber clone. That means most of the things you see here, you'll find them in your Uber app if you have used Uber before. And this is based on Uber 4.2. So you would see all this. And if you scroll at the bottom, you would see the cars that are around you. And this blue dot shows your location your current location and shows the possible drivers around you and these are just the history locations where you've been before and you can decide to write or order food or or reserve uh, some bookings or you can send parcels like a courier with uber now and things like that and if you click on the ride with uber this will take you to the, re the to the request screen this will take us to the request screen this is where you can put your information of the place where you want to go to and the pickup location as well and this is just the 
the history places or, or locations where you've been before and it's nicely animated so you can decide to go back to the search bar like that and we have also this uh, interactive map it's completely interactive and fully functional in the background and this is where the route will be drawn and everything so you can decide to request the uber for yourself as you see in here we have for me that means if you decide to go ahead and request so you simply gonna tap the destination uh, address and the pickup location will be taken as your current location and you can also decide to to order for someone or to request the uber for someone if you click there and okay turn this up is this emulator is giving some problem i see it's still loading okay all right i was saying uh i was saying that you can request the uber for yourself or for someone else so if you want to order for someone else you can simply click there and it gives you the option for someone else or for yourself for me that means for yourself for someone else that means for another person so you can click for someone else and you can see it changes there and you can decide to put the addresses the origin as well as the destination let me quickly put some address i can say 55 Victoria road and now it's it's uh, requesting the drop off location or the destination so I can say 32 Olivia Road and as I'm tapping you can see we're getting this suggestion from Google which is really nice and can pick up that and awesome this draws the route as you can see you have that route there which has been drawn and so this is uh, showing you your pickup location which is here and as well as the drop off location which is there it also gives you the travel time and it shows the distance uh, between the two places and gives you suggestion for different ubers and we have this ni nice animated bottom sheet and the map is also interactive as i'm moving you can see how it's also moving so you can decide to take any type of uber and it does also calculate the price so you can select whatever is affordable for you and as i'm clicking on each option you can see there's nice selection there or highlight so you can decide to go with uber x and as i'm selecting there you can see also the button is changing that is just nice and once you confirm this it will show you your pickup location it show you the registration number of the car that will come to fetch you and it even gives you the information of the driver that is coming so the name of the driver the number of trip, trips that he has made so far and the number of stars that he has got so if you are happy with all this information and the prices and the payment method which in this case is the a card method but you can decide to put it to cash as well you can change to cash and we're gonna implement the payment a bit later on and yeah but we're gonna implement the payment as well and uh, let me keep it to to card payment and once you're happy with all this you can confirm the pickup location and there we have uh, the driver coming and we have a real time counting there counting the time that the driver will be where you are and you have the driver information and you have the car moving along the path and this is the fun part in this project because you will be able to to control the direction of the car how it's moving along the route and this is not easy to implement but uh, yeah we're going to to do all this in this project i'll show you exactly how to do this as you can see the car is moving perfectly 
along the route it's really following the route hundred percent without deviation so this is this is what uh, we're going to build this is this was just a quick summary or demo uh, for those who are joining us for the very first time in this project so without wasting any time we're going to to begin coding now everyone knows what we're building uh, we're gonna begin I've opened my code editor and you can open whatever code editor you're using so the first thing that we're going to do today we're going first to create the route or the direction so this is what we're going to create the first thing we're going to start with this today and uh, let me go to the request screen which is what you've done in the last video let's put some address you can also do the same on your project and if it, it's your first time to join i would request you to watch the previous videos as well so you can be on the same page with everyone else otherwise let me put an address let's say 55 pretoria road I'm going to put now the drop-off uh, address. The, the first one I put, that's the pickup address or the origin. I'm putting the destination, 32 Olivia Road. Okay, you can see that for now, we're only getting these two markers these two points but we are not uh, giving the route you see so we're going to create the route between this this is the pickup location and this is the this is the drop-off location so we're going to create a route between the pickup and drop-off location in order to do that that a library that we have to, to install I'm going to close my emulator I mean my terminal for now so we can do some installations and the first library that we're going to install today it's called uh, react native uh, directions all right so that's the first package that we're going to install so if you go to google let me open google quickly and we type react native maps directions like that you can see this suggestion react native maps direction this will take you to the repository and from this you're gonna see examples and a lot of things that you can do it's really a, a nicely documented library so there are a lot of things that you can achieve with it but for now I think you can just follow what I'm doing you can copy that and go back to your terminal and paste and press the enter key to begin the installation and that will begin installing the library there is also a second library that we're going to to need and that is the the one that we are using for for the bottom sheet so this library that we're going to install after this one is uh, for bottom sheet I see there are some errors let's see if that did install react native maps direction apparently there was a problem installing this library okay I'm going to do yarn instead I'm gonna say yarn add 
react native react native sorry maps directions I think that's the right spelling and then let's see if this will work Okay, the library is successfully installed now. You can see success and all that. Now the second library that we're going to install is the bottom sheet library. And there's also a great documentation for it. You can go back to Google, open up your browser. And uh, you can type this. It's at gone at slash bottom sheet. So this is the library in question. You can type that in your Google search and you can pick up the very first or pick up the second suggestion that you see and this is the library this is the repository for this library it is a great library and it's new but uh, yeah i think it has got some support already and it can do a lot of things and there's a comprehensive documentation for it if you go, go and getting started click on the documentation website you will see that there is a lot of documentation and a lot of things that you can achieve with this library we're gonna have some tutorials later on where we're gonna create this bottom sheet ourselves using react native reanimated because sometimes you don't always have to rely on third party libraries you should be able to create all these things yourself as a developer because if this library is not supported yet then you're gonna be in trouble but yeah for now we're gonna use it because it's gonna make the job quicker and later on there will be videos on how to create all these things ourselves so if you click on get started and then on the right hand go to installation there is the installation procedure on what to do so in order to use this library you should have react native reanimated installed as well as react native gesture handler installed as well i think if you've been following we have installed uh, these two already so you can copy this and go back to your terminal and paste it and press the enter key so the installation may be begin and I'm going to pause and resume when the library installation is done. Okay, uh, the installation is successfully complete. And open up your package.json file. And inside there, you should see this library present. Make sure you see that they're present. And you should also have a uh, react native gesture handler installed and you must also have react native reanimated installed this library requires some setup we have done that already in uh, i think the first b video and you should check out on that video to make sure everything will work properly now we can go back to our map component that is in your source folder under the component folder so open the component folder and then map component.js let me make this screen bigger and inside here we're going to render the, the direction right so I'm going to import the library which we have just in, uh, installed that's the first thing we do so scroll up and here I'm just gonna paste it you can type it so this is the how we import map view direction import that and once that is imported then you can scroll to your map view where you're rendering your map so here we are gonna make this bigger 
we will render the map view direction just below the closing tag of uh, the map view component so you can see where i am right now and on top here open curly brackets we're going to render this map uh, view directions uh, based on some conditions and the condition is that we should have the pickup location coordinate as well as the drop-off location coordinate which is the origin coordinate as well as the destination coordinate so in order to do that i can simply say uh, let's say we grab the destination uh, coordinate when i say this dot props dot user destination dot latitude so we say that this if this is not null if this is not null then we can render the map direction component which is just a polyline so we can now create the map view direction a self-closing component and to it we pass some properties it's just few properties that we're gonna pass the first one is the origin and the origin this will be the pickup location and we're gonna pa pass the pickup uh, coordinate which is this dot props we grab that and we say user origin also need to pass the destination which is the drop off location and this will be this dot props dot user destination we are also gonna have to pass the Google API key you have to pass your Google API key and I have my Google API key already saved in my environment variables. So I did show how to do the environment variables in the previous videos. So please watch those videos so you can see exactly how I did that. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna grab my Google API key. You can put it here just as a string it's still okay in my case I've uh, saved it in my environment variables if you see on top here I have I should have that somewhere here it is I'm importing my Google Maps API key from the environment variables and I recommend you to watch the previous videos to see how I've done it but otherwise you can also just put your API key as a string for example you can put whatever numbers it is you can put like that it's still gonna work but uh, if you want to put your app in production you will do it the right way which is putting all your api keys in the environment variables so i'm gonna say google maps api key and then we should pass the width stroke width this one here I'm gonna pass four for now and then stroke color here we're gonna say so we got two colors want it to be black like that so I'm going to save this now and I'm going to run my emulator and and let's see what happens I'm gonna say expo start this will begin building the project and my emulator is now running I'm gonna uh, we're going to test what we we have done let's go to the Google Play Auto complete I'm gonna put the 
a pickup location I can say uh, uh, let's say 32 Olivia Road and now I'm going to put the drop-off location or destination so I'll say 55 Pretoria Road and this is the one okay we're getting this error here it's saying error while updating property line gap of a view managed by a map polyline okay and this is a problem with the current uh, Expo SDKs and I think they've not been uh, updated uh, in Expo SDK with regard to React native maps and so so to resolve this problem uh, you can either patch your React native map uh, node module or else you can decide to downgrade to the previous SDK that are compatible with the current React native maps so for the purpose of this tor the tutorials I'm going to go to the stable version of uh, Expo which is currently supporting uh, the React Native map properly without problems and you're gonna go to your package.json file and inside there you will see the expo is here and the current SDK that I'm using I'm using SDK 43 you might be using 43 or 42 I'm not sure if 44 is out already by this time but yeah uh, in my case I'm going to downgrade it to 41 you might try 41 or 42 you might downgrade it to one of those and see if it works so I'm downgrading it to 41 and also uh, I think 41 is not supporting react native 0 0.64 so I have to change this so you can just delete that I'm going to paste some code let me make this bigger so I'm going to paste some code here that you can type so we're gonna be getting react native from this repository and the last thing that we need to do inside this package.json file scroll down you should have react native safe context in here so cut that remove that and save your project and the second thing that we need to do we need to we need to delete the node modules so this folder here node modules we're going to delete this so that we will reinstall all the packages that we have changed in our package.json file so for me to be able to to delete this node module I have to close the project and go where this uh, uberclone project is saved and delete this folder from there so I'm going to pause this video and resume it once I've deleted my node modules all right my node module is now deleted and if you see on the left here there's no more node modules so we're going to reinstall that now so go to your terminal and tap yarn and this will install all the modules that are in package.json dependencies here okay so this will begin installing our dependencies right now the installation is taking place and 
let me pause and resume as soon as the installation is done okay all the dependencies are now installed again so all these dependencies have been installed you can see we have success there in green so if that is your case we're gonna continue now and now i need to install a react native safe area context remember there's a package that we did delete inside our package.json file so we're going to install that separately and we're gonna do expo install then paste react native safe area context so we're going to install this you can type that in your terminal and press the enter key and this will begin installing as well the installation is uh, successfully completed so if you go to your package.json file you should see a react native safe area context you can see that there so now we can close this file and let's run our project going to launch our emulator going to say expo start and then you can decide to run either the ios or the android depending on what you're developing for and yeah the emulator is built uh, is uh, launching okay my emulator is, is still building i think it's almost there and mm, okay it's launching the emulator is now running let me close all this awesome let's go to the request screen hopefully the problem is solved and let's see let's put the pickup location or the origin I'm gonna say 32 olivia road here it's the suggestion this is the right address i'm looking for I'm going to put the drop off location or the destination. This is going to be 55 Pretoria Road. And let's see if this works. Awesome. The problem is solved. The problem is solved. As you can see, we have the direction rendering showing the path a nice path so this is the pickup location and at the top here we have the drop off location so this is just awesome this is perfect and now let's move to the next path there's still some few problems we're gonna have to create some padding around this so that whenever it launches it's a uh, it's, uh, it, uh, it renders in, in the center of our map but for now let's move to the next part of this video uh, let me open my my presentation to show the screens so we've built this we have built this already and we have created the the direction as well but for now uh, let's first create this bottom sheet here you can see there's a bottom sheet which shows the saved places and the previous places uh, your pickup and i mean this should be your drop off locations in the past so we're going to create all this now before we move on let's complete this screen here and it's very simple to implement it now i want you to open your uh, request screen And inside your request screen, we're going to import this package so that we are able to use it. I'm going to paste so that we don't have to waste time typing. And I'm going to paste it somewhere here. So we're importing bottom sheet bottom sheet flat list as well as bottom sheet section list all from this library 
think uh, now scroll down and uh, below the map component we're going to to create this uh, bottom sheet so here you can type uh, what did I do now there's something wrong okay right bottom sheet and we're going to pass some props to it there's a lot of props that we're going to pass to this component so we can use it but before that uh, let's first create a reference for this bottom sheet so that we know so that the our app can be able to interact with it uh, from the reference so you can scroll up again uh, we need to import use ref this is just some react hooks that we are gonna be using use ref and we're going to create a bottom sheet reference so what I'm going to do is uh, Just below this uh, context, I'm going to create a reference. I'm going to say const. Uh, just going to call it bottom sheet one. Bottom sheet one. And say use ref. And we pass, let's say, one to it. Hopefully, we haven't used one any other places have not used the reference on any other place but anyway it's okay we pass it one like that and okay i think that should be it for now let's scroll again down go back to where we were And I'm gonna pass that ref here. I'm gonna say ref. This will be sorry. This will be bottom. What's happening? Why is it not acknowledging? So bottom sheet one and. going to also say index it should be equal to route this must be deleted I think there's a problem I don't know what's happening but, uh, so route dot params state for now just type this we're gonna create all these uh, variables later you can for now just follow what I'm doing and I'm gonna also say snap snap point this is another prop and we pass snap point one like that and when I say on change when I say handle sheet one change or sheet change change one like that I don't know why this keeps duplicating 
I have to just see what the problem is. Too strange. And that should be it for the props here. And now we've created our bottom sheet. We now we have to create the element that are inside the bottom sheet. You can see that this element, sorry, this element are rendered in a form of uh, flat list. So we're going to use the component that is given by us by this API. It's called uh, bottom sheet flat list so we're going to uh, render that component inside here can I say bottom sheet flat list and this is a self-closing component and inside this let me first say key keyboard dismiss or keyboard should persist steps say always and the data data we're gonna say write data gonna import this data now and the key extractor the key extractor we're gonna say this will be equal to let's say item item dot id like that and render items when i say render flight list items render flat list items like that and content container style you're gonna say this will be styles dot content container like that so all these styles we did paste them in the previous videos so we have all these styles in our style sheet and just watch the playlist i will leave the link in the description section and the next prop that we're going to do is the header we need to create a header component so i'm gonna say list list header component and here we're going to create the component in question. So we're going to open a view like this. And we're going to pass some styles to this view. The style here will be styles. Dot view. And open another view again. And inside this one, we pass some styles as well. And the style here will be styles dot view eleven, like that. And we're going to create an icon inside this. And 
and actually i think we should have an icon somewhere here that we can just copy and paste let me copy this so that we don't have to repeat ourselves so paste that and the name I'm going to change this to star to star and the color we're gonna put white and the size we keep 20 here instead of 25 and that's it and then below this view going to open another view and inside this view we open a text component and we pass some stars to this text component when i say stars star equal to styles dot text nine and here we're gonna say saved places awesome so we're done creating the header component for our list so let me show you exactly what it is so this is the header component you see where it says saved places that is the header so when you're scrolling this this won't scroll because it's the header it's like the title of everything here okay we're going also to create a a, a footer for this uh, list and so here we're going to type say list footer component like that and open a view so we're going to render a component inside this view and the style again we're going to pass style equal to styles dot view 10 so this one will be view 10 and open again another style i mean open again another view and to this view pass style equal to styles dot view 11 it's actually the same as what you've done up top and inside here we're going to pass an icon again so copy this icon here and paste it inside and the name instead of star we're going to pass map marker so map marker and the color will leave the same size and everything else the same so below this view okay copy this first because it's actually the same thing that we're repeating copy this and paste it below this view and instead of saved places delete that put set location on map like that and we're going again to duplicate uh, we're going to duplicate this view so copy it copy that and and paste it at the bottom here
and we need to have a parent view for all these things so on top here open a view cut this closing tag and paste it at the bottom here like that awesome and we can squeeze this in for lisibility so it can be easy to read so now here instead of uh, this icon here being uh, the marker we're gonna change that to gonna change it to skip next like that and also instead of set location on map on this text component we're going to say enter destination later enter destination later like that so now if you scroll on top here there's a lot of things that we still have to create there are a lot of things that you have to create you have to create this uh, component here called render flight list and we have to import this data and we have to create all these uh, all these functions as well as variables so I want you to scroll on top first of all let's import the data and this is from our global data so I'm going to say import and this will be right data from that awesome and once you have imported that you now have to create all this uh, method and things that you've been using so we're going first to create the snap point you can scroll down below this and I say const snap what was it snap point why is it not picking it up Let's see what variable we passed. Can copy this. So we say cons paste that and we gonna have to use another hook that we must import that is use memo. scroll back say this equal to use memo and the callback will be returning an array of percent so I'm gonna say zero percent here and 70 percent so this data here this percentage is how far your your bottom sheet can open for example if you see right now this is open up until somewhere which is about 70 percent of the height of your screen so we're gonna what we're trying to say in that array is that this bottom sheet should be either closed which is zero or open at 70 percent as you can see on this screen here so we put 0 and 70 percent so those are the two you can add more percentage if you want it to be open into steps of different levels and and after that we're gonna pass an empty array we don't want it to run anything 
and now we're going to also create the handle function the on change handler so what we'll say is const handle handle uh, sheet change and uh, sheet change one and we're gonna need another hook called uh, use callback so here we're gonna say use callback like that and we're gonna use that here say use callback and this will take an index and retain some and there can be some uh, function that can get executed but for now we won't execute anything when this callback uh, is run so we're just gonna leave it empty for now like that okay and then after this we'll retain an empty there's nothing that we'll do so uh, I'm not sure what other data that we need to populate let's check our bottom sheet we have created this we have created this We're getting route parameters we have to create this as well bottom sheet reference we have that write data we have that we now need to create this component as well so render flight list items so we must create that and and also we need to make sure we grab the route prop for our component so pass route here pass that And now we're going to create the render uh, render what render flight list item component. Mm. You could create it as a separate file or separate component, and. Uh, okay just scroll outside of your functions at the bottom scroll until down pass all your styles at the bottom here we're going to create a function uh, okay instead of it going so far let's create it on top instead just uh, after this or before the star sheet okay here let's create function const we call it uh, render flat list item flat list items like that and you say use callback structure some item inside here and this will retain the component that must be rendered like that okay and I'm going to open a view but before that can also open an array there even though it's not gonna be used so going to open a view and to this view we're gonna pass some styles so actually it's the same thing 
what you've done on top here so I'm just gonna copy so that we don't waste time so you can copy this copy this view copy that and paste it in this function awesome now we're just going to change the icons name Normally this we're gonna okay we just put gonna put a clock time four can put that for now and color will keep it white and here we're gonna change to 18 and inside this let's just see something if the text are the same because right now we're creating all this mm. all right so instead of rendering this data like this I'm going to dynamically render it I'm gonna say this will be equal to item dot street like that and the style Here we're gonna just create some styles quickly. It's not so many of them. Just gonna say font size. Give it 15. And color. We pass colors. Uh, gray one. And. copy this again copy that and paste it at the bottom and in this case you remove this font size and the color I mean we pass gray for and the data here gonna write area so all these data are in our local uh, database which we've created which is just some uh, array of JSONs and okay I think this should be it going to save and let's hope cross our fingers hoping this should work um, but before that there's something that we need to do there's something that we need to do go to your home screen and just find where we're navigating to the request screen let's say navigation okay here we are we're going to pass some data to this screen just gonna say state for now let's put one uh, just do that for now because we will need that save it and also go to your destination screen wherever we're navigating back mm. just trying to see something in the destination okay here instead of navigating back I'm gonna say navigation dot navigate we pass the screen which is a request screen and you also pass some data object of state of say state 
we give it one for now. Let's give it one and see. Okay. Let's save as well. And now let's look at our emulator. If there's any problem. Okay, there seems to be a problem because nothing has rendered. Yes, there's some problems. Okay, I think there's some violation with the hooks and uh, just scroll down to the render bottom sheet flat list component that you've created. Let me make this bigger. Yeah, I'll go to the request screen instead. Sorry, I was in the home screen. So in the request screen, uh, we did create this outside of our request screen component, right? So cut that and paste it inside. Cut that and paste it just above the retain of this component. You can paste it here. Like that. And uh, also for now, just remove this zero. We want it to be open straight, to go straight to 70% and go to the home screen. And where we passed one on the state, pass zero there for now. Save that, do the same for destination. Instead of one on where we pass this, pass give it zero for now like that and save that as well I think the problem should be sorted okay the emulator is launching again let's see what happens now okay it seems like everything is fine if you go to the request screen awesome you have this bottom sheet here working even though now it's not accepting to close and uh, but yeah it's because you have not been handling on change yet remember there's a uh, this uh, on change function which you have to create so that the bottom sheet knows what to do when you're changing when you're changing the height so we're going to create some functions inside this to handle the change okay but for now i didn't want this video to exceed 20 i mean one hour and uh, i will have to stop here for today so we have done a lot we have created uh, everything uh, that means right now we have this screen here that we have created uh, which is according to our project plan which is this screen we have created that we have created this we have created this we have created the directions we are able to render the direction on our map and in the next video we're going to create uh, the function to handle the change of our bottom sheet so that when you're scrolling, I mean when you're pulling this down, it, it should be able to move down and close. For now it's stuck, but we're going to create that in the next video. And also in the next video, we're going then to create this one as well, this other bottom sheet, as well as uh, all these items on the map with this route. So I think we left with uh, how many screen to complete. It's only these two screens that are left once we're done with this. So we're getting there. We have created this, we have created that. And we have created this, that, that. So we left to complete this. And then finally these two. So we're getting there. 
and uh, thank you for watching if you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe to the channel and help the YouTube algorithm to promote this video by clicking the like button and also leaving a comment let me know if everything is working for you as we're moving let me know in the comment I want to get your feedback otherwise thank you for watching I hope to see you in the next video until then keep safe and take care bye bye